From compatibility with the upcoming mixed reality headset to significant CarPlay enhancements and third-party App Store download options, this year's iOS 17 update is anticipated to include a number of intriguing upgrades. Oh boy, here we go. In this video, we'll be discussing the features that iOS 17 is anticipated to include in 2023. Mixed Reality Headset Support Even though Apple's AR slash VR headset will operate independently and have its own app store, there will very certainly be some contact with the iPhone. We anticipate that iOS 17 will introduce some headset-related features because Apple's devices all communicate with one another in some way. It is expected that iOS 17 will come with a new app, comparable to the Watch app but with much more features to support the AR slash VR headset, which will allow users to communicate, watch information, and play games, though it won't serve as a substitute for reality. And we're even anticipating a new iMessage redesign that will not only feature a redesigned iMessage home screen, chat rooms, and stickers, but we also anticipate chat features that will presumably be developed for the upcoming AR slash VR headset, as stated by Twitter leaker Majin Boo. You need to trust me with my source. CarPlay Updates A revamped CarPlay experience with a better automobile connection is anticipated to be included in iOS 17. We expect Apple to soon offer users the chance to be able to control automotive amenities like the radio and volume through CarPlay, as they stated at the 2022 Worldwide Developers Conference. Also, Apple intends to enable multiple monitors and add widgets. While the first automobiles with next-generation CarPlay integration are expected in late 2023, iOS 17 or an update to it are likely to include support for it. When can we expect the release of the much-anticipated iOS 17? Keep watching to find out more. Sideloading and Alternate App Store Support Apple plans to comply with the 2024 deadline set by European regulation by enabling sideloading beginning with iOS 17. Customers in Europe may be able to download apps without using the App Store because Apple is now required to permit people to use rival app shops. While this would be a loving feature, we will be talking about which iPhone devices will support the iOS 17 update later in this video, so be sure to stay with us to find out. Also, developers would not be obliged to pay Apple's 15 to 30% fees for apps that users install via different ways, though Apple still plans to collect a fee. You better pay or we'll funk you up. The sideloading changes will initially only be applicable to customers in the European Union but Apple may expand the capabilities once other countries pass legislation similar to the Digital Markets Act in Europe. Recording Calls We believe that Apple will integrate call recording functionality in iOS 17. There are ears everywhere. Given how highly users desire it for the iPhone, despite the fact that this may be accomplished by utilizing third-party software and services, it would be wonderful to have the feature built directly into the iPhone. The difficulty of adhering to call recording legislation, which might differ between even certain locations within the same country, however, makes it difficult to be certain that this will happen. Added lock screen widgets and more interactive widgets. There is plenty of space on the lock screen. Even though users can presently add two large widgets or up to four mini widgets, we foresee Apple authorizing the installation of more widgets to fill up the lock screen. More the merrier. Also, we anticipate that widgets will be more interactive, enabling users to access a broader range of features without having to open an application in order to view anything beyond the standard fundamental functionality of widgets. If you enjoy regular updates about upcoming devices and the latest gadgets like this, then be sure to subscribe to our channel so you do not miss out on any of our timely updates. Split Screen even though we can argue that iPhone screens may not be large enough to feature this, we would like to see a split screen, like we have had on iPad for a long time now, in spite of the complications of using it on a smaller screen, especially because many Android smartphones such as Samsung, LG, and Microsoft have managed to include this functionality. Yeah, it's not for everybody. Although there are various apps in the App Store that let us split the iPhone screen, they only work for online browsing, such as Split Web Browser, and it would be great to have the feature built into the iPhone. iOS 17 Release Date 
in addition to upgrades to iPad OS, Mac OS, Watch OS, and TV OS. Apple always announces the most recent iOS version at its yearly Worldwide Developers Conference, which is held in June, and we anticipate hearing about iOS 17 on the first day of WWDC 2023. While Apple has not yet confirmed the dates, if it sticks to its usual first week in June schedule, it will likely occur between June 5th and June 9th, 2023, with the announcement likely occurring on June 5th, and iOS 17 will be made accessible to developers for testing following WWDC with a public beta. Ooh, I can't wait! <gasps> After a period of beta testing, iOS 17 will be released in September 2023, along with brand new iPhones. iOS 17 supported devices. Though we are waiting for WWDC 2023 to finally say it, we already know that Apple normally provides software upgrades for iPhones for up to five years, and in extremely unusual circumstances where the hardware can support the software update. This term can be extended to six years. A token of appreciation. Considering that Apple has a reputation for providing support for its phones this long after they are released, we predict that the majority of iPhones, starting with the iPhone XR, XS, and XS Max, will receive the iOS 17 update. There is a possibility that the earliest devices, the iPhone 8, 8 Plus, and X, will not support the update. Given that they are already five years old, the iOS 16 that was launched in 2022 should have been the last significant iOS upgrade for these models. But there could also be a possible iOS 17 upgrade for these earlier devices if Apple determines that the hardware on these smartphones is powerful enough to successfully support the update. What major updates would you like to see in iOS 17? Please share with us in the comment section. As we continue to discuss what we may expect from Apple this year, we have a video that discusses the predicted improvement in the battery life of the upcoming iPhone 15 Pro Max. Check out our next video, 5 Insane Hidden Apple Watch Ultra Features. This is absolutely incredible to learn more. We will see you in the next video.